Today, let's learn how to design an email template in Gmail using Google add-ons. Rod here, and welcome to Burn to Learn. These add-ons are third-party apps that provide additional features to customize your design. Great, let's do it. Once in your Gmail account, go to the upper right section and click on Settings. Within Settings, click on the Advanced section here on the right. Here you'll find Canned Responses. Just enable this option and don't forget to save. Okay, now let's take a look at Add-ons functionalities. In the top right corner, click on the Settings option and there you'll find Get Add-ons. Another way to find this option is on the right side. Here you'll see a vertical menu. So click on the plus icon and there it is. In either case, a list like this will open. Here, there's an interesting add-on called B Template. Click on this app and a pop-up window will open with an overview of this app. Just click on Install. Now in the vertical menu, click on the new icon that just appeared. In order for the app to kick in, you'll need to open an email in your inbox. So just open whichever you'd like. Again, on the vertical menu, after clicking on the app's icon, you'll see a list of templates you can choose from to create or compose a new email. For example, I choose educational. Let's edit this template. Start with the logo on the left and select the logo on your computer and drag and drop. In my case, the image is too big, so I'll resize it. If you click on the social media logos on the right, you can change or remove the links. Now let's change the template body. In order for the text to be centered, press Enter after the title, in this case, after emails. If you want to insert your own image, do the same and just drag and drop the image from your computer. You can also edit the text within the button and add a link. Now, as final step, to save your template, go to the lower right corner, click on the three dots for more options, and select Canned Responses. Then on Save Draft as Template, and then Save as a New Template. Give a name to your response. In my case, it's Email Marketing. Save it. Send it, and you got it. Now, whenever you want to compose a new email and use this template, go back to the three dots in the corner, and there it is, ready to use. Now we know how to design an email in Gmail. In the next part of this series, we'll take a look at how to design an email in MailChimp. Thanks for watching. Also, join the Inner Circle our Technical Skills Learning Accelerator.